BBC News, also known as the BBC News Channel, is a British free-to-air television news network. It was launched as BBC News 24 on the 9th of November 1997 at 5:30 p.m. as part of the BBC's foray into digital domestic television channels, becoming the first competitor to Sky News, which had been running since 1989. For a time, loop news, sport and weather bulletins were available to view via BBC Red Button. On the 22nd of February 2006, the channel was named News Channel of the Year at the Royal Television Society Television Journalism Awards for the first time in its history. The judges remarked that this was the year that the channel had really come into its own. From May 2007, viewers in the UK could watch the channel via the BBC News website. In April 2008, the channel was renamed BBC News as part of a £550,000 rebranding of the BBC's news output, complete with a new studio and presentation. Its sister service, BBC World was also renamed BBC World News while the national news bulletins became BBC News at 1, BBC News at 6 and BBC News at 10. Across the day the channel averages about twice the audience of Sky News. The channel is based at and broadcasts from Broadcasting House in the West End of London. In 2017, it was named the RTS News Channel of the Year. Topic. History. BBC News 24 was originally available to digital terrestrial, satellite and cable television subscribers. To this day, it and BBC Parliament remain the only BBC digital channels which are made available to analog cable subscribers. This coverage was improved in 1998 with the advent of digital television in the United Kingdom allowing satellite and digital terrestrial television viewers to also view the service. Initially it was difficult to obtain a digital satellite or terrestrial receiver without a subscription to Sky or OnDigital respectively, but now the channel forms an important part of the Freeview and Freesat channel packages. The BBC had run the international news channel BBC World for two and a half years prior to the launch of BBC News 24 on 9 November 1997. Sky News had had a free hand with domestic news for over eight years since the 5th of February 1989 and being owned by News Corporation their papers were used to criticize the BBC for extending its news output. Sky News objected to the breaking of its monopoly, complaining about the costs associated with running a channel that only a minority could view from the license fee. Sky News claimed that a number of British cable operators had been incentivized to carry News 24 which, as a license fee-funded channel was made available to such operators for free in preference to the commercial Sky News. However, in September 1999 the European Commission ruled against a complaint made by Sky News that the publicly funded channel was unfair and illegal under EU law. The Commission ruled that the license fee should be considered state aid but that such aid was justified due to the public service remit of the BBC and that it did not exceed actual costs. The channel's journalistic output has been overseen by controller of the channel, Kevin Backhurst, since 16 December 2005. This was a return to having a dedicated controller for the channel in the same way as the rest of the BBC's domestic television channels. At launch, Tim Orchard was controller of News 24 from 1997 until 2000. Editorial decisions were then overseen by Rachel Atwell in her capacity as Deputy Head of Television News. Her deputy Mark Popescu became responsible for editorial content in 2004, a role he continued in until the appointment of Backhurst as controller in 2005. A further announcement by Head of Television News Peter Horrocks came at the same time as Backhurst's appointment in which he outlined his plan to provide more funding and resources for the channel and shift the corporation's emphasis regarding news away from the traditional BBC One bulletins and across to the rolling news channel. The introduction of simulcasts of the main bulletins on the channel was to allow the news bulletins to pull resources rather than work against each other at key times in the face of competition, particularly from Sky News. The BBC Governor's Annual Report for 2005 2006 reported that average audience figures for 15 minute periods had reached 8.6% in multi channel homes, up from 7.8% in 2004 2005. The 2004 report claimed that the channel outperformed Sky News in both weekly and monthly reach in multi-channel homes for the January 2004 period, and for the first time in two years moved ahead of Sky News in being perceived as the channel best for news. Topic: 2008 rebranding. On 21 April 2008, BBC News 24 was renamed BBC News on the channel itself, but is referred to as the BBC News Channel on other BBC services. 
This is part of the Creative Futures plan, launched in 2006, to bring all BBC News output under the single brand name. The BBC News Channel moved from the Studio N8 set, which became home to BBC World News, to what was the home of the National News in Studio N6, allowing the channel to share its set with the BBC News at 1 and the BBC News at 10, with other bulletins moving to Studio TC7. Topic. Move to Broadcasting House The channel relocated, along with the remaining BBC News services at Television Centre, to the newly refurbished Broadcasting House on 18 March 2013 at 1300 Greenwich Mean Time. Presentation and on-screen graphics were refreshed, with new full HD studios and a live newsroom backdrop. Moving cameras in the newsroom form part of the top-of-the-hour title sequence and are used at the start of weather bulletins. Topic. BBC News HD On 16 July 2013, the BBC announced that a high-definition simulcast of BBC News would be launched by early 2014. The channel broadcasts on the BBC's new HD multiplex on Freeview. HD output from BBC News has been simulcast on BBC One HD and BBC Two HD since the move to Broadcasting House in March 2013. The channel launched on 10 December 2013 at an early date, though will roll out nationwide up to June 2014 as will BBC 4 HD and CBeebies HD. Topic. Programming Topic. News Each hour consists of headlines on each quarter hour, extended at the top of the hour to form the main part of the daily schedule though these are interspaced with other programs, generally at weekends. This will be often be displaced by rolling news coverage including reports and live interviews. This channel also provides half-hourly weather summaries by forecasters from the BBC Weather Centre and the sports news from the BBC Sports Centre at Medi City UK. At 21.25 a global weather forecast is broadcast and 21.55 weather for the week ahead is broadcast. Topic. Breaking news The BBC maintains guidelines for procedures to be taken for breaking news. With domestic news, the correspondent first recorded a generic minute. Summary for use by all stations and channels and then priority was to report on BBC Radio 5 Live, then on the BBC News Channel and any other programs that are on air. Since 5 Live's move to Manchester, this has been reversed. For foreign news, first a generic minute is recorded, then reports are to World Service Radio, then the reporter talks to any other programs that are on air. A key claim made by Lord Lambert in his report had been that the channel was slower to react to breaking news compared with its main rival Sky News. To counteract this, a new feature introduced with the 2003 relaunch was a breaking news sting, a globe shown briefly on screen to direct a viewer's attention to the breaking news. The graphics relaunch in January 2007 has since seen the globe sting replaced by a red strapline to highlight the breaking story immediately. To complement this, a permanent live news ticker had earlier been introduced in 2006, this had previously been in use only sporadically. News statements are shown as continuously scrolling uppercase text located at the bottom of the screen. Some past ambiguities noted have included spelling the plural of MPs as MPS, together with other occasional spelling and grammatical errors. The design of this ticker was slightly altered with the 2007 graphics redesign and from June turned red to indicate breaking news, as Newswatch reported viewers' confusion. The ticker is removed during trails and weather forecasts. Topic. Overnight and BBC World News simulcasts The BBC began simulcasting the channel overnight on terrestrial channel BBC One with the launch of the channel, ending the tradition of a close down but at the same time effectively making the service available to many more viewers. In the early 2000s, BBC Two also started simulcasting the channel, although the weekend morning show Weekend 24 had been simulcast on the channel in the early days. During major breaking news events, the BBC News Channel has been broadcast on BBC One. Examples of special broadcasts include the 11th of September 2001 attacks, the 7th of July 2005 London bombings, the capture of Saddam Hussein, and the death of Osama bin Laden. Coverage of major events has also been simulcast on BBC World News. 
Currently, overnight viewers receive 25-minute editions of BBC News every hour, and on weekdays 0 00.00 to 2 o'clock receive Newsday, live from Singapore and from London which also includes Asia Business Report and Sport Today between 0.30 and 1 o'clock and also between 1.30 and 2 o'clock. From 2 o'clock to 5 o'clock to 6 o'clock on weekends receive BBC World News. The briefing airs between 5 o'clock to 6 o'clock on weekdays. Topic. BBC One and BBC Two daytime simulcasts BBC Breakfast has been simulcast since launch in 2000 on BBC One and BBC News, replacing the individual breakfast shows that had run on both channels. Since May 2006, the simulcast runs from 6 o'clock until 8.30. Breakfast on BBC One then continues from Media City UK until 9.15 with entertainment and features, whilst BBC News goes to BBC Business Live until 9 o'clock and reverts to its traditional format from 9 o'clock. The BBC News at 10 began simulcasting on the channel on 30 January 2006 as part of the 10 o'clock newshour, followed by extended sport and business news updates. The bulletin was joined in being simulcast on 10 April 2006 when the BBC News at 1 with British Sign Language in Vision Signing and BBC News at 6 bulletins were added to the schedule following a similar format to the News at 10 in terms of content on the channel once each simulcast ends. During the summer, the hour-long programme News 24 Sunday was broadcast both on BBC One and the BBC News Channel at 9 o'clock, to replace The Andrew Marr Show, which is off-air. It was presented by a news presenter, and came from the main news channel studio. The program was made up mostly of interviews focusing on current affairs, and included a full paper review, a weather summary, and a news update at 9 o'clock, 9.30 and 10 o'clock. Sunday Morning Live and alternative programming now fill this slot. From 2013, a new program was created for BBC Two for 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. weekdays, consisting of 30 minutes domestic and 30 minutes of BBC World News. On Wednesdays, when Parliament is sitting the latter is replaced by the daily politics for coverage of Prime Minister's questions. In March 2016 the channel started showing Newsnight at 23.15. Topic exclusive programs The Briefing, Sally Bundock with News, Business, and Sports from BBC News. Beyond 100 Days, the latest news from both sides of the Atlantic, presented by Caddy Kay from Washington and Christian Fraser from London Monday to Thursday, BBC World News, the latest international news as they break from the BBC. BBC News, the latest national and international news as they break from the BBC, Newsday, live international news from London and Singapore every weekday. Presented by Babita Sharma, Kasha Madeira, Rico Heisen and Sharonjit Lale. Asia Business Report, live from Singapore, the essential business news as it breaks and a look ahead to the news that will shape the business day. This is presented by whoever has covered the Newsday shift. Sports Day, Sport Today, all the latest sports news and results from around the globe. World Business Report, the latest business news with informed analysis from the world's financial centers. Business Live, Sally Bundock and Ben Thompson or Tanya Beckett with the latest business news as it breaks and a look ahead to the news that will shape the business day. With the latest news from end of trading in Asia, latest from Europe, Middle East and Americas. The papers, Clive Myrie, Maxine Marwini, Nicholas Owen and Martine Croxall present lively and informed conversation about the next day's or today's headlines. Broadcast at 5.45, 9.30 weekends, 22.30 and 23.30. Victoria Derbyshire, with original stories, exclusive interviews, audience debate and breaking news, Victoria Derbyshire and Joanna Gosling present the BBC's new daily news and current affairs programme. BBC News at 5, live from Broadcasting House in London, an in-depth look back at the day's national and international news, sport and weather with Hugh Edwards and Jane Hill. Outside Source, Monday to Thursday, Ross Atkins hosts live reports from the BBC Newsroom in London linking up with the BBC's global network of correspondents, occasionally simulcast at 1800 weekdays during major stories, World News Today, a daily news program for audiences who want more depth to their daily coverage. With a focus on the UK, Europe, Middle East and Africa, Karen Yannan, Kasia Madeira, Alpa Patel and Philippa Thomas bring context and understanding to the most complex of events, broadcast also on BBC4, occasionally simulcast at 1900 weekdays during major stories, BBC Newsroom Live, stay up to date on the day's top stories, with the latest breaking news as it happens. Prime Minister's Questions, live coverage of PMQs from the House of Commons without comment or interruption. Afternoon Live, Simon McCoy and the team with all the day's top stories, weather, business and sport and breaking news as it happens. Including news from the BBC's nations and regions, as well as the BBC's global network of correspondents. 
Rachel Horn, Ben Bland Businessbray recorded programs include, Newsnight, in-depth investigation and analysis of the stories behind the day's headlines with Evan Davis, Kirsty Walk and Emily Midas. BBC World News America, comprehensive news and analysis with Caddy Kay. Broadcast from the BBC's Washington, D.C. studio sometimes shown live when broadcasting significant events click, a guide to gadgets, websites, games and computer industry news. Dateline London, foreign correspondents based in London give their views on the week's international news. Hard Talk, Stephen Sakur talks to newsmakers and personalities from across the globe. Our World, features the BBC's news programs on current issues around the world. The documentaries are intended to showcase BBC journalism at its best. Reporters, a weekly showcase of reports from the BBC's global network of correspondents. Politics Europe, an in-depth look at the politics of Europe, presented by Andrew Neil and Joe Coburn, only shown in Europe, also shown on BBC Parliament in the UK. The World Debate, the panels and contributing audiences discuss topical themes put to representatives from global politics, finance, business, the arts, media and other areas. Panorama, current affairs program, featuring interviews and investigative reports on a wide variety of subjects. The Editors, a monthly program looking at what's happening in each editor's area. The Travel Show Inside Out England, a selection of stories from the regional programs across England, presented by Elaine Dunkley. Witness, a monthly roundup of BBC World stories of global events told by the people who were there. Victoria Derbyshire interviews, uncut versions of the original stories, exclusive interviews with Victoria Derbyshire and Joanna Gosling. Previous BBC News programming includes Head to Head, Your News, E24, The Record Europe, Storyfix and News 24 Tonight, a weekday evening program which ran from 2005 to 2008, providing a roundup of the day's news. Topic: 2015 schedule changes. As part of budget cuts, major changes to the channel were announced in late 2014, early 2015. This included axing some bulletins and replacing them with Victoria Derbyshire and BBC Business Live with Sally Bundock and Ben Thompson in the morning. Outside Source with Ross Atkins, an interactive show already broadcast on BBC World News, aired Mondays Thursday at during major stories 1800 and 2100 and a new edition of World News Today Friday to Sunday at 2100 during major stories 1900, 2000 Monday to Friday adding to the 1900 edition on BBC4. Hard Talk was moved to 2030 in May. The 0 hundred edition was replaced on Sundays Thursday with Newsday and on Friday to Saturday a standard edition of BBC World News. Topic. BBC World News Shared Programming Between 0 hundred to 6 o'clock UK time, the channel simulcasts with its sister channel, BBC World News, for the first 25 minutes of each hour with world news shown all through the simulcasts. On 1 October 2007, BBC World News started broadcasting BBC World News America and World News Today at 0 hundred and 3 o'clock Greenwich Mean Time respectively. World News Today was simulcast on the BBC News Channel at 3 o'clock Greenwich Mean Time. BBC World News America used to be aired as a reduced length, time-delayed version at 0.30 Greenwich Mean Time, with ABC World News Tonight with David Muir also being shown at 1.30 every Tuesday to Friday. From 13 June 2011, the weekday editions of BBC News at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock were replaced with Newsday. The program acts as a morning news bulletin for the Asia-Pacific region and is broadcast as a double-headed news bulletin with Rico Heisen in Singapore and Babita Sharma in London. Asia Business Report and Sport Today are aired at the back of the first three hours of Newsday. But Newsday changed to 2300 to 2 o'clock on BBC News a year later meaning Mike Embley presents Tuesday to Friday BBC World News 2300 to 2 o'clock with Kasia Madeira on Saturdays and Daniela Ritortu 0 hundred to 6 o'clock Sunday, 2 o'clock to 5 o'clock Friday, Monday. BBC World News and World Business Report air at 5 o'clock. This was previously known as The World Today, however, since November 2017 this has been rebranded as The Briefing and Business Briefing on both channels and in lieu of commercials seen on the international broadcasts, the presenters give a brief update on UK news for domestic audiences. In June 2015, BBC News began simulcasting outside source with Ross Atkins on Mondays Thursday at During Major Stories 1800, at 2100 and a new edition of World News Today Friday to Sunday at During Major Stories Monday to Friday 1900, 2100. 
Since January 2017, they began simulcasting beyond 100 days previously 100 days and 100 days plus Monday to Thursday at 1900, presented from London and Washington. During August, Beyond 100 Days is replaced by another edition of World News Today. Traditionally, during simulcasts in December, care has been taken to conceal the newsroom Christmas tree for international audiences. From 2015, the 2100 Bulletin has always been an edition of World News Today, replacing outside source with Ross Atkins. Topic. Sports Since 5 March 2012, sports bulletins come from the BBC Sports Centre in Midi City UK in Salford Keys, where the sports network BBC Radio 5 Live is also based. Headlines are usually provided at 15 minutes past the hour with a full bulletin after the bottom of the hour headlines. There are also extended sports bulletins per day, entitled Sports Day or Sport Today, when simulcasting with BBC World News, broadcast at 045, 145, 245, 345, 1330, 1830, 1930, weekends only, 2230, weekdays only. Each bulletin is read by a single sports presenter, with the exception of Saturday Sports Day, which is double-headed. The channel's sports bulletins, internally known as Sport 24, have always had a separate, dedicated production gallery, which is also responsible for the graphics. Bulletins during BBC Breakfast are presented by Sally Nugent or Mike Bushell, with the latter also appearing on other sports bulletins on the channel. As of March 2012 the main sports presenters on the channel are Ollie Foster, Katie Gornell, Catherine Downs, Damian Johnson, Andrew Lindsay and Jenny Colshaw. Until March 2012 bulletins came from the News Channel studio at the quarter to the hour. Presenters for bulletins on the channel have included, Reshman Chowdhury, Amanda Davies, Sean Fletcher, Ollie Foster, Matt Goodrick, Lizzie Greenwood-Hughes, Selena Hinchcliffe, Rachel Hodges, Damian Johnson, Adnan Nawaz and Olympic gold medalist turned journalist Matthew Pinsent. Topic. Business. Before BBC News moved to Broadcasting House, an hourly business update was included during the weekday schedule from the BBC Business Unit. There were two shifts, from 8.30 to 1400 and 1400 to 2300, presented by Penny Haslam, Mayim Moshiri, Ben Thompson, Adam Parsons, Susanna Streeter, Joe Lynham, Sarah Coburn or Sally Eden. News channel updates were usually broadcast at 40 minutes past the hour between 8 o'clock and 2300. The 2140 roundup was often earlier and the 2240 bulletin is an extended roundup of the day's business news. Until May 2009, the business updates on the BBC News Channel were broadcast from one of the London Stock Exchange's studios in central London. From then until March 2013 the bulletins were provided from the channel's studio at BBC Television Centre. The business updates were axed in March 2013 as part of the BBC's Delivering Quality First plan. But after complaints returned in November 2013, stock market updates now only appear during the quarter to the hour headlines. Rachel Horn is the main presenter from 1330 to 1800 with Vishalis Rapathma, Alice Baxter, Jamie Robertson, Aaron Hesselhurst and Sally Bundock. There is normally an extended bulletin at 1645 when the main business stories of the day are discussed on Afternoon Live. Bundock and Thompson present business live on weekdays at 830. Declan Curry presented Your Money, a weekly roundup on a Saturday morning. Rico Heisen or Sharon Lale regularly present the main business stories during the early hours of the morning from Singapore during the BBC's Asia Business Report, which is simulcast from BBC World News. Alice Baxter and Sally Bundock present World Business Report. Topic news presenters Sally Bundock The Briefing, Business Briefing, World Business Report, Business Life, BBC World News, The Papers David Eads The Briefing, Business Briefing, World Business Report, Business Life, BBC World News, The Papers Ben Thompson World Business Report, Business Life, BBC News Aaron Hasselhurst World Business Report, Business Life, The Papers Simon McCoy BBC News at 1, BBC News, Afternoon Life Sophie Long BBC News Ben Brown BBC News, BBC Weekend News, World News Today Jane Hill BBC News, BBC News at 1, BBC News at 6, BBC News at 10, The Film Review Hugh Edwards BBC News at 5, BBC News at 10, BBC News Special, Election Night Ross Atkins Outside Source Caddy K World News America and Newsday, the latter is when broadcasting from US during significant events, Beyond 100 Days Christian Fraser BBC World News, World News Today, BBC News, Beyond 100 Days, The Papers Joanna Gosling Newsroom Live, Victoria Derbyshire with Joanna Gosling, BBC News Anita 
Linda McVeigh, Newsroom Live, Victoria Derbyshire, Newsreader, BBC News, BBC World News, Julian Warwicker, BBC News, Victoria Derbyshire with Julian Warwicker, Emily Maitlis, BBC News at 1, BBC News at 6, BBC News at 10, BBC News, News Night, Election Night, Clive Myrie, BBC News at 1, BBC News at 6, BBC News at 10, BBC News, The Papers and World News Today, Beyond 100 Days, Babita Sharma Newsday, BBC World News and World News Today, Kasha Madeira Newsday, BBC World News, BBC News and World News Today, Rico Heisen Newsday and Asia Business Report, Sharanjit Lale Newsday, BBC World News, World News Today and Asia Business Report, Mike Embley, BBC World News, Maxine Marwini, BBC News, BBC Weekend News, BBC World News, Victoria Derbyshire Naga Munchati, BBC World News, Breakfast, Victoria Derbyshire, The Papers, Nicholas Owen, BBC News, BBC Weekend News, The Papers, Martine Croxall, BBC News, The Papers, World News Today, Victoria Derbyshire, Victoria Derbyshire, Fiona Bruce, BBC News at 6, BBC News at 10, BBC News, George Alagaya, BBC News at 6, BBC News at 10, Sophie Raywith, BBC News at 1, BBC News at 6, BBC News at 10, BBC News, Kate Silverton, BBC News at 1, BBC News at 6, BBC News at 10, BBC News, BBC Weekend News, BBC World News, Rita Chakrabarti, BBC News at 1, BBC News at 6, BBC News at 10, BBC News, BBC Weekend News, Newsroom Live, Victoria Derbyshire, Newsreader, Michelle Hussain, BBC News at 6, BBC News at 10, BBC News, BBC Weekend News, BBC World News, Election Night, Nula McGovern, Outside Source, World News Today, Alice Baxter, BBC World News, World Business Report, Business Live, World News Today, BBC Business, The Papers, Afternoon Live, Alpa Patel, BBC World News, World News Today, Newsday. Topic Relief Chris Rogers BBC News, The Papers, Newsday, BBC World News, World News Today, Our World, Inside Out England Philippa Thomas World News Today, Outside Source, Reporters Tim Wilcox BBC News, BBC World News and World News Today Sean Lay BBC News, BBC Weekend News, The Papers Gavin Gray BBC News, BBC World News, The Papers, Newsday, World News Today Carol Walker BBC News, BBC Weekend News Ben Bland BBC World News, BBC News, World News Today Newsday, The Papers, BBC Business Karen Yannan World News Today, Newsday, BBC World News Mariam Moshiri BBC Business Live, World News Today, BBC News, BBC World News and World News Today Tanya Beckett Business Live, World News Today James Menendez BBC World News, The Papers, World News Today Gita Guru Murthy BBC World News, World News Today Lebo Deseco BBC World News, World News Today, Newsday Reg Ahmad BBC World News, World News Today Luquesa Barak BBC News, BBC News at 5, BBC World News, Inside Out, World News Today Samantha Simmons World News Today Carrie Gracie BBC News, Afternoon Live, BBC World News, World News Today, Hard Tax Ali Bundock, Alice Baxter and Ben Thompson Present Business Live and World Business Report. Ross Atkins Presents Outside Source. Philippa Thomas, Alpa Patel, Karen Yannan or Kasia Madeira Present World News Today on weekdays on BBC4 and weekends on the channel. Rico Heisen and Sharanjit Lale reporting from Singapore, Babita Sharma and Madeira are the main overnight presenters on the channel, appearing on Newsday and generic BBC News bulletins. These programs are simulcast with BBC World News and either BBC One or BBC Two. Madeira, Ben Bland and Mike Embley regularly present 2 o'clock to 5 o'clock weekdays and 1 o'clock to 6 o'clock weekends. Bundock or David Eads present the briefing and business briefing on weekday mornings on the channel and BBC One. The simulcasting of the main national news bulletins has led to the presenters of those bulletins appearing on the channel and offer relief on the news channel including Hugh Edwards, Victoria Derbyshire, Fiona Bruce, George Alagaya, Sophie Rayworth, Kate Silverton and Michelle Hussain. The main breakfast presenters have also appeared on the channel since it was first launched as a simulcast program in 2000, with the current presenters being Dan Walker, Louise Minchin, Charlie State and Naga Munchati. Thomas presents the BBC World News programme reporters on the channel, while Gavin Esler presents Dateline London. Stephen Sakura appears on Hard Talk, which is aired weeknights and at weekends, while Zainib Badawi, Carrie Gracie and Sarah Montague provide cover for him. Spencer Kelly presents the technology news programme Click, Newsnight host Evan Davis presents The Bottom Line. Lee McKenzie presents Inside F1 on Grand Prix weekends. Tanya Beckett presents Talking Business and Witness. 
Adi Adepatan, Rajan Dada, Krista Larwood, Henry Golding and Carmen Robert present the travel show during a major news event One or more of the main news presenters may be sent to present live for the channel from the scene of the story, where they will conduct interviews with the people involved, question correspondence, introduce related reports and also give general information on the story, much as a reporter sent to cover a story would. The presenters often have expertise in the story they are sent to cover, for example channel presenters and former reporters Ben Brown and Clive Myrie were dispatched to Cairo and Tripoli during the Middle East uprisings. Presentation Graphics <presentation> 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 The channel was criticised at launch for its style of presentation, with accusations of it being less authoritative than the BBC One news bulletins, with presenters appearing on screen without jackets. Jenny Abramsky had originally planned to have a television version of the informal news radio channel BBC Radio 5 Live, or a TV version of Radio 4 News FM both of which she had run. The bright design of the set was also blamed for this, one insider reportedly described it as a car crash in a shower and was subject to the network relaunch on 25 October 1999. The channel swapped studios with sister channel BBC World, moving to Studio N8 within the newsroom, where it remained until 2008. New music and title sequences accompanied this set change, following the look of newly relaunched BBC One bulletins. Graphics and titles were developed by the Lambie Nairn Design Agency and were gradually rolled out across the whole of BBC News, including a similar design for regional news starting with Newsroom South East and the three BBC nations Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. The similarity of main BBC News output was intended to increase the credibility of the channel as well as aiding cross-channel promotion. A graphics relaunch in January 2007 saw the channel updated, with redesigned headline straplines, a redesigned digital on-screen graphic and repositioned clock. The clock was originally placed to the left-hand side of the channel name though following complaints that this could only be viewed in widescreen, it was moved to the right in February 2007. Bulletins on BBC World News and BBC One also introduced similar graphics and title sequences on the same day. In 2008, the graphics were again relaunched, using the style introduced in 2007 and a new color scheme. Topic. The Lambert Report. The Lambert report into the channel's performance in 2002 called upon News24 to develop a better brand of its own, to allow viewers to differentiate between itself and similar channels such as Sky News. As a direct result of this, a brand new style across all presentation for the channel launched on 8 December 2003 at 9 o'clock. Philip Hayden and Anna Jones were the first two presenters on the set, the relaunch of which had been put back a week due to previous power disruptions at Television Center where the channel was based. The new designs also featured a dynamic set of titles for the channel. The globe would begin spinning from where the main story was taking place, while the headline scrolled around in a ribbon. This was occasionally replaced by the BBC News logo. The titles concluded with a red globe surrounded by a red stylized clamshell and BBC News ribbons forming above the BBC News logo. Bulletins on BBC One moved into a new set in January 2003 although retained the previous Ivory Lambie Nairn titles until February 2004. News24 updated the title colors slightly to match those of BBC One bulletins in time for the 50th anniversary of BBC Television News on 5 July 2004. Countdown sequence An important part of the channel's presentation since launch has been the top of the hour countdown sequence, since there is no presentation system with continuity announcers so the countdown provides a link to the beginning of the next hour. A similar musical device is used on BBC Radio 5 Live, and mirrors the pips on BBC Radio 4. Previous styles have included a series of fictional flags set to music between 1997 and 1999 before the major relaunch, incorporating the new contemporary music composed by David Lowe, and graphics developed by Lambie Nairn. Various images, originally ivory numbers fully animated against a deep red background, were designed to fit the pace of the channel, and the music soon gained notoriety, and was often satirized and parodied in popular culture, perhaps most famously by comic Bill Bailey who likened the theme music to an apocalyptic rave. Images of life around the UK were added in replacement later with the same music, together with footage of the newsroom and exterior of Television Centre. The 2003 relaunch saw a small change to this style with less of a metropolitan feel to the footage. 
a new sequence was introduced on 28 March 2005, designed and created by Red B Media and directed by Mark Chaudoir. The full version ran for 60 seconds, though only around 30 seconds were usually shown on air. The music was revised completely but the biggest change came in the footage used, reflecting the methods and nature of newsgathering, while a strong emphasis was placed on the BBC logo itself. Satellite dishes are shown transmitting and receiving red data streams. In production of the countdown sequence, Clive Norman filmed images around the United Kingdom, Richard Jobson in the United States, while BBC News cameramen filmed images from Iraq, Beijing, Tiananmen Square, Bund of Shanghai, Africa, as well as areas affected by the 2004 Asian tsunami and others. The sequence has since seen several remixes to the music and a change in visuals to focus more on the well-known journalists, with less footage of camera crews and production teams. Changes have also seen the channel logo included during the sequences and at the end, as well as the fonts used for the time. The conclusion of the countdown was altered in 2008 to feature the new presentation style, rather than a data stream moving in towards the camera. Also in 2008, the graphic for the countdown changed, resembling BBC One rhythm and movement idents, due to the logo being in a red square in inferior left corner. To coincide with the move of BBC News to Broadcasting House, on 18 March 2013 the countdown was updated again along with several other presentation elements. Three of the most striking features of the new countdown include music performed by the BBC Concert Orchestra, a redesign of the data streams, and the ending of the sequence no longer fading to the BBC News globe and logo, but instead stopping with a time-lapse shot outside the corporation's headquarters. The countdown was also extended back to 90 seconds, of which approximately 86 were seen before the first hour from Broadcasting House. A full three-minute version of the countdown music was made available on BBC News Online and David Lowe's own website after a remix on 16 May 2006. An international version of the countdown was launched on BBC World News on 5 September 2005 featuring more international content and similar music. Various changes have been made to the music and visuals since then, with presentation following the style of BBC News. The visuals in the sequence were updated on 10 May 2010. In June 2011, further imagery was added relating to recent events, including the conflict in Libya and views of outside 10 Downing Street. In January 2013, as part of the relocation of BBC News to Broadcasting House in central London, BBC World News received a new countdown in the same style as the BBC News Channel's updated countdown, with some minor differences. Topic. See also List of television stations in the United Kingdom Sky News ITV News Channel ABC News Channel